Hey guys, and welcome back to Teams Tuesday. Are you sick of fighting with presentations on Teams? Is anyone even listening? Have they fallen asleep? You don't know because you can't see their faces? Well, let's fix that. Because today, we're gonna to talk about how you can present properly using Microsoft PowerPoint in your next Teams meeting, and mostly because we're all doing it wrong, and I just thought it'd be nice if someone actually showed you the right way. Let's get into it. So here we are at a Teams meeting and we're gonna start presenting a PowerPoint deck and we're gonna do it the same way that everyone does. I'm gonna head down to the sharing center and I'm just gonna present my entire desktop because it's easier. I'm gonna pop open PowerPoint and put it into presenter mode. And here we go. Here are my pitches for some fabulous TV shows which absolutely need to be remade into movies into 2021. Oi, Russo brothers, call me. Now, you can see here that I've only got the presenter view, the same presenter view as everyone else. I've lost all of my important notes, I can't see which slides are coming next, and more importantly, I can't see the reactions of anyone on the call. Now, let's have a look at how we could do it properly. Again, let's jump into the sharing center, but this time, instead of sharing my entire desktop, I'm gonna share from PowerPoint over here on the right-hand side. Now, let's have a look at what we see. We get this great experience where I can see the presentation on the left-hand side, and I can still see the video of all the people in the meeting. And even better, I can see my notes. So now I'm fully prepared to deliver my presentation. Fantastic. Now, one of the downsides we did see with this method is that it's possible for people to flip ahead and view the slides without actually paying attention to you, but we can fix that. Up here at the top, people will have the option to flip through the slides using these little arrows. So they might not be looking at the slides I need them to focus on. Now, I do have a button here, the little eyeball, which will lock the slides onto what I want them to see. So now they have to follow along with me. One other downside though, is that anyone can take control of the presentation. So you can see here, I've completely lost control of this presentation. Someone else is presenting my slides and worse still, I've lost all of my notes and whoever's presenting it has got my notes. Now there is a way to fix this. First things first, if you set up an ad hoc channel meeting, uh, then there's nothing you can do. Actually, everyone in a channel has the same permissions as you, so you can't actually stop them messing up your presentation. But in a scheduled meeting, we can take control. So here we are in a scheduled meeting, and I'm just gonna head up to these three little dots and choose meeting options. Now, under who can present, I can choose between everyone, everyone in my organization, certain people, or just me. So to keep this under control, I'm gonna choose just me and hit save. Now, when I start to share the PowerPoint presentation, I can cross the little eyeball up here and we're all set. No one else is able to flip through the slides, no one else is presenting, and I've got everyone's full attention. When I'm ready to, I can always pop back into those meeting options and change the presenter settings back again anyway. And that's it. A couple of great ways to make sure that your next presentation on Teams goes really well. You stay in control, you keep everyone's attention, and you can see their video to make sure that people really are engaging with you. Well, if you found this video useful, please give us a thumbs up. If you've got any questions or comments, then please leave them below. And if you'd like to hear more from us, why not hit that subscribe button? Well, thanks very much, guys, and we will see you next time.